Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video by Sam and Jam. This is Jam here to show you a new seed. This one is a savanna and desert exploration seed. And this one, there's lots of cool features, neat villages, a lot of beachside vacationing. I start with you spawn in this nice savanna area, nice desert peaks nice ocean area and I put a great big X so we can find it on the map. Now if you're starting in survival first head to the tallest mountain you can find which is that big pile of sand. From this big pile of sand you will soon see off to the side the start of your first village. Very easy walking distance right along the ocean to village number one. This is a cool beachside village. I really dig those with all the water features available. This one does have a lovely blacksmith with lots of goodies for you. I won't spoil the surprise. And I have created again the lovely big map. Okay, let's take a look. Here is our X where the spawn point is. Whoop, right there, nice and glowing big on the map. And we walked up to the top hill, saw the desert villa on the beach, and walked over here. So this is where we are starting. Now, village number one is directly off to the side, not very far. It's a nice savanna village with the pretty red wood. Village number three, off the to the ocean, to this nice little desert island, you get a third village. Very, very cool. After you've explored those and figured out which one you want to keep as your home base and set things up the way you like, you can continue over this way through the savanna areas where there are lots of caves in the different um, mountains that you cross. There's a nice big long ravine right here, more caves, a nice another nice ravine, and in this general area there is a mine shaft with a spider spawner and possibly other things. I haven't fully explored the whole thing. And after you've crossed through all of that you get to another village. This is number four. If you want you can also take this one and trail across the little ocean area to another village. This village has a desert pyramid and a two desert wells nearby. Uh, the desert wells do not have any um, buildings around them. It's just a well in the middle of the desert, but there's two of them. Pyramids up around this area uh, with two desert wells. Um, if you want to cross through the desert after that or follow the water stream, your choice, you can come over to this big lake area. And on the other side of the lake is another village. This is another one on the water partially. Really cool village, uh, Savannah, to check out. This one um, is almost directly across. Just another little ocean trip to your another desert village that happens to be on the water with the nice little beachside options. So at least three, four-ish waterfront properties there. Really super cool. Um, from this top village, if you wish to explore more, come up to the northeast corner and there is one more village on this map. This village has blacksmith, also includes over here a pyramid right on the ocean. So oceanfront pyramid to add. So two pyramids and about eight villages within the map distance of um, this map I have printed up here. There are a total of 12 villages I have found. The others are past the map borders. There are also several other pyramids, a stronghold, mine shaft spawner, spider spawner, witch hut, and two ocean monuments. The two ocean monuments are on the map. There's one up at the tippy tippy top there, and one down right below your first village around there. Uh, also on the map is the beginnings of the mesa area, which expands off the map, and down here, the beginnings of a nice little jungle island. So, I will show you around to the different villages real quick and the pyramids, and then I will um, let you go to check out and explore on your own. I will leave all of the coordinates in the seed, um, uh, in the seed description 
on the YouTube site. So, blacksmiths, don't forget to check out Nice Chapel. If you head off this direction, very short distance, just across this water and on the other side of this mountain, you will see the next village. I can already see the rooftops poking up over there. Nice pretty redwood. Probably my favorite of all the woods, except maybe the jungle wood. This one also includes a nice little blacksmith. And in these mountains, you can see there are several cave systems you can explore around. Got a quick little map of the general village area. Pretty cool. And lots of nice villagers, a couple of cool buildings, uh, libraries, animal pens, um, neat features to explore. Lots of cave systems to get down into and check out. Okay, from this village, if you head off that direction, uh, we will get to the two villages on the east side of the map. I am going to teleport to there so we don't have to spend all day traveling. This is the first one. It has a nice little chapel, no blacksmith, but there are some cave systems. There are sheep, plenty of animals around, and a mini little ravine going on. Uh, for this one, if you wish to get to the next village, the one near the pyramid, you want to go across the water uh, about that general direction. And again, I will skip it all by teleporting us over there. And here we are at the next village. This one is um, the one we came across the water to get to. It's got several buildings, lots of little sheep, and no blacksmiths, but there is pumpkins. Exciting. Now over here, if you go past these roads and little ravines across the water to this direction, you will head out towards the desert. The desert over here will have the pyramid and the two desert wells. You can see it coming up right there. And I'm going to skip ahead a little again so we don't have to travel so far and get ourselves to the pyramids. Bink. Here is the first one right here on the other side of the blue water. You find a little river stream, you'll find the first pyramid with all sorts of goodies inside. Now from this pyramid, if you look off in the distance, you can see mm, a village well with no village, just a nice little well in the desert. If you cross over those mountains on the other side, you will find another desert well, again, floating out in the middle of the desert. Now if you want to go to that nice savanna village, head off that direction till you get to the big lake. And it is up that way. I will skip us up there. Let's see. This is one of my favorite on this map. Because it is beachside and has my favorite pretty red wood and has a blacksmith shop. So lots of cool stuff over here. Come check this one out. Ravines, caves, mountains. Now in some of these mountains somewhere in the savanna area, I did find alpacas. I don't remember which mountains it is, but I do know when I was exploring from village to village, I did come across some lovely alpacas. So feel free to check them out, see if you can find them. Oh, sorry, I guess this place calls them llamas. I like calling them alpacas. They look all the same to me. Anyhow, um, the other two villages that we are going to visit are the two on the western side of the map. Uh, the first one is the one near the spawn, or original village, and this one is on the beach, or close to the beach. And it has a nice little chapel, no blacksmith but you can see the lovely ocean. This one is a desert island, um, completely deserted, total deserty, except for the village. It has some neat little sand caves in there that you can go explore and check out. 
And on the other, a little bit north from this village, is the next one that is on the beach. And let's see, that one is... Right here. And this one is also on the water. It's got the neat little harbor in there. And it has some neat little sand. Um, I don't know what you call them when the sand overhangs, I guess. You can either keep them or knock them down, your choice. There's another one over there, right above the garden. And more villagers to trade with, more fun features. Now the last village I'm going to visit with you is the one at the tippy top of the map, uh, slightly east of the original um, spawn point or original island, your choice. Now this one is very cool because it has a desert pyramid nearby and a blacksmith. So definitely worth checking out. You can see the blacksmith there, and if you follow the direction of the blacksmith right off to the edge here, you see the lovely pyramid. Again, lots of cool goodies inside right on the edge of the ocean, so you've got oceanfront desert pyramid to play with. Very cool, very fun map, lots of stuff to explore. Lots of villages within a pretty close distance. So far, one of the more fun seeds for just general exploration and uh, good for survival. And you can have lots of fun with the um, creative options as well. Hope you are enjoying the seed. And have fun playing with it. I'll show you another really quick sum up of the map again. Starting spawn point right up here, go to the top of the first desert um, pile of sand you see, and you'll be able to see your first village right down the shore. That's the one that we're in currently. Head to the east and you will find the nice savanna village. Go across the ocean to the west and you'll find the desert island village. Um, directly above that desert island village is another desert village on the bay, on the water. Um, from the savanna one, you cross over, find all the mountains and ravines, and you'll also find the next two villages. The top village there having a pyramid and two desert wells included. You can also go straight up or continue across the desert and visit the next savanna village up top here on the northern side, almost directly across from that uh, desert one. And this one has a blacksmith shop. Then head up to the right, uh, west, if sorry, east, northeast and corner, you'll find the last village with a blacksmith and another pyramid to visit. So lots of cool features. I'll include all the um, coordinates, including the spawners and the uh, mine shaft, which is very fun to check out. I thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Jam's out here. See you next time.